Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Turn the power off at the circuit breakers. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the microwave light bulb in a KitchenAid microwave oven combination. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new microwave light bulb. If the light inside the microwave is not on while the microwave is running, it's most likely time for a new light bulb. To replace the microwave light bulb, we need to pull the microwave out. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws, one on each side of the control panel. Pull the panel off. Disconnect the small white plug at the control board and lift it up to provide the access to the upper vent grill. Take out three Phillips screws and remove the upper vent grill. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take four screws out and then remove the vent grill. Use the opportunity to clean it. Mine was real dirty. Take two Phillips screws out that holds the microwave at the bottom. And then pull the microwave out of the mounting frame for a few inches. Remove the insulation plate and continue to pull the microwave until you can reach the light bulb socket in the center. Squeeze the retainer spring one side at a time and release it. Remove the light bulb from the reflector. Pull it out of the socket. This is the old microwave light bulb next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Install the new light bulb into the socket. Place the retainer spring on. Install the socket into the reflector. Slide the solid end of the retainer spring into the opening and then lock in the split end. Check if the reflector is positioned correctly. Place the insulation plate on the top and slowly slide the microwave in. Slide the grommet into its place. Install the top vent grill and secure it with the three Phillips screws. Bring the control panel down. Reconnect the white plug at the control board. Then slide the control panel so the top slots in the corner overlocks the vertical post with the rubber grommets. And now we can close the door and secure it with the two Phillips screws on the sides. Secure the microwave with the two Phillips screws at the bottom. Install the bottom vent grill and secure it with the four Phillips screws. Now we can turn the power on and enjoy cooking. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site 
on Facebook and on YouTube.